Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with the Saturday vloggy thing. Boy, what a week it has been. <laughs> if you've been paying attention all week long to my channel, there has been giveaway after giveaway after giveaway, bunch of giveaways during a live. Also, if you haven't seen that yet, catch the replay. There's replay giveaways too. Um, and most of those are actually probably still going on as long as you're watching this Saturday or Sunday or Monday. Um, yeah, I made most of the giveaways run for about a week. The dates and everything are specific and are on each one of the videos. Be sure and watch my videos from this past week. There's a little something for everybody. Okay, speaking of something for everybody, I've got several giveaways in this video too. Pay attention, that'll be coming up and I'll tell you exactly what you have to do. It's not hard, okay? really isn't uh, to be a winner or a possible winner in any of these <sighs> but as far as the week goes I've not been working I have I take off a week for my birthday every year yeah I'm that girl okay I do I take off a week for my birthday but it's been so hot out it has been almost impossible to really get out and do anything it has been 90 degrees plus every day outside and that's we're talking 30 something plus celsius okay every day my car has no ac i'll eventually get it fixed just not right now and well without ac in the heat with humidity that's literally anywhere from 70 to 90 percent i'm not even exaggerating yeah I just can't deal. My house has AC. I am fortunate in that regard. So I can just stay home and do things around the house and make videos and give stuff away apparently because that's what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, it's been a week of heat. So I have not gotten my shaved ice yet from South Carolina because that's an hour in the car. And if it's that hot, it was, it was still 90 degrees the other night at like 930 at night. It's after dark and it was still that hot. So Nay, nay. Now, last night it was a little bit better. Uh, we went out for a little ride. Um, we actually went out and grabbed some dinner at one of our favorite little Mexican places and decided to just go for a little ride around because it was nice out. We had the windows down. And in our little town that we're adjacent to, we actually, I say we, <laughs> there's a Dunkin' or it used to be Dunkin' Donuts, but now it's just Dunkin', whatever. And they have two car chargers there for electric cars now, we don't have an electric car we are big electric car enthusiasts in this house we just don't have one yet eventually okay we got excited because there were cars parked in it at a weird time of the night it was like okay let's just drive around and see what's there pulled in there saw our first Rivian truck in the wild what got to talk to the owner a little bit you know everybody's really friendly because I like to share information about their cars you know, we're definitely non-threatening. We got out of the car, you know, <laughs> both of us getting out like, oh, <laughs> so we just walk up and talk to people because that's who we are. Um, and then there was a, someone else there with a Kia, I think it was a Nero. And he was very friendly. He had taken it basically on a long cross country trip, not cross country. I mean, Virginia to Florida and back. And that was pretty cool. He told us about his experiences with that. He says the worst part is there's some chargers that just aren't up to par. You know, you have to make sure you use your app that shows you where all the chargers are. I don't know why I pretend the app is on my phone or on my hand because it's not there. See, nothing there. Okay. But uh, we had a nice conversation with those folks. It was breezy. It had cooled down to the upper 70s. Life was good. So, yeah, we that was our excitement for our Friday evening. But uh, yeah, I've got to spend time with friends this week and it's that's been pretty awesome. It's just the heat outside is just oppressive to me. Okay, very oppressive. I wanted to do some gardening this week. No, I did a little bit um, earlier in the week. I did replant some stuff, uh, got it all potted up. And that was about it that knocked me out for the rest of the day. Because it was warm and it was getting warmer and I was like, Oh, I'm the walking dead at this point, only warmer, you know? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, that was my week. It's back to work on Monday. I'll probably have about 300 million emails Monday at work. <laughs> Not looking forward to that. But 
you know, that is what it is. I could go in there and work on them this weekend because, you know, I work from home. I could go in there and look at my work email and log in and stuff, but no. I'm an hourly employee. I know I work a lot of hours and some people think, oh, you must be salary. No, I'm hourly. Anything over 40 hours is time and a half. So do I just work the overtime? Yeah, if I need to. I've been working less of it though. I've been paring it down a little bit, just not completely. Anyway, that is the excitement from that. Do want to get into a little bit of the uh, crochet first before the giveaways, okay? Kind of make you wait a little bit, right? All right, there hasn't been much crochet this week, believe it or not. I've been so busy with everything else. Um, one thing that has been happening is my temperature blanket. Still keeping up with that. Looking in my little bag here because recently finished the uh, row of 19 and as you can see by these dark colors y'all it's been warm the dark purple for the outside which is the, the high temperature the outside the inside is the low temperature the dark purple is over 92 degrees yeah it's been over 92 every day the inner temperature is uh, the low. I don't remember each of those, and I have it broken down on my book. So there's that. Let me show you the rest of the blanket. Oh. This blue and purple and teal beauty with that last row added on, the latest row. So you can see up here where it was cooler. The colors are much lighter. And then as we get to the higher temperatures, it gets darker. Hopefully it'll cool back down again, but I still am loving this. I love that I can complete a square every day and I have something to show for it, even if I don't get a lot of other crochet done, because I have not gotten a lot done. I have worked on a couple of things with uh, a bag that I have a kit for. I didn't finish it. I wanted to finish it and then that just didn't happen. Oh gosh. I have got a pile of mess in here. Hang on. I decided to join my squares with a visible seam. It's been wadded up in a bag. That's why it doesn't look very straight. Um, in the goldenrod color that they have, I thought that would be really pretty. And this is going on. I thought that I had the connecting strap, not, not really a strap, but the part that makes the box bottom and everything. I had it. I thought I had it long enough. I just wasn't paying attention. And then I realized I didn't. So I am continuing on. I have to get it to the top of this one. So I'm almost done with that. Once I do that, I will connect it all together and um, then add the straps to it and stuff. And I will have a really cute like market bag. See? my Dollar Tree clips holding it all together because those are pretty awesome and I will show you the picture again of what this is supposed to look like when it's done hang on that's not it this is it I won this last year this is all done in the 24-7 uh, Lion Brand 24-7 cotton and they supply everything and see they had it joined in just the same clay color but they also sent the yarn basically to make the palm there the tassel only they sent the tassels already made so I'm going to use those colors in the bag itself I figure with the seams that'll be a nice little accent that'll be my my little special touch okay they also sent the handles I have them in a box right over there so those are ready to go I am excited to get this one finished Partially so that I could have this bag back to work on something else. I've got, you know, yarn trying to escape. You cannot have that. Stay in the bag, yarn, until you are called for. But this 24-7 cotton is the bomb. It is awesome. I love working with it. And they also now, I think, have a 24-7 cotton DK. Mm, might be really nice for garments. I think with the lighter weight of the DK, that will make a nice top, you know? Hmm. Love it. Love it. Okay. Let's talk giveaways. 
there are a bunch. There are one, two, three, four, five within this video. Within this video, five. Cinco, okay? I don't know how to say five in any other language. I've fey. There you go. Pig Latin. I've fey. Um, there's also going to be one that is done completely within a community post. So make sure you check out my community posts. I'm going to tell you about that one first. On my community post, I'm going to have a giveaway for these beauties right here. These four stitch markers are called hanky stitch markers and they are made by Miss Lisa Ladybird Loves. And um, she hand makes these. It's like having a little hank of yarn as a stitch marker or more importantly to me as an earring. Now, of course, there's no two matching right here. But if you wanted some matching ones for earrings, I don't even have earrings on today. Uh, <laughs> I'm such a doof. But uh, these are sterling silver lever backs. So totally fine to wear. And y'all have seen me wear them many times. I have sets in there hanging up sets okay that I use for earrings but these will be beautiful stitch markers uh, marking the front or back of a of a pattern you're working on progress markers they're just they're gorgeous and you can have a little hank of yarn with you all the time if you wear them as earrings that's what I like about them but that will be on a community post so you must check out my community post for that information got it all right, my giveaways also are international, so long as you can receive a package from the U.S. Apparently, I'm in a love relationship with the post office right now because, y'all, whoa, a lot of postage from this past week, and there'll be a bunch more coming up. But I knew that when I signed on for that, okay? I knew it when I was doing the giveaways, but I know that a lot of you guys live outside the U.S., and... I welcome you here and you know some things would only make sense for the US only like if it's I don't know giving away something that only the US supplies like for one of my giveaways um, there's like a coupon in there for not really a coupon but like a certificate for a free box of meal kit stuff they only do the US so that has to be a US only but everything else y'all everywhere let's do it community post check that out okay all right I will show you the list of things that I need for giveaway stuff um, towards the end just know that you do have to be subscribed you have to have your subscriptions public I need to be able to see that you're subscribed I know some people in the community think oh that's awful she's requiring people be subscribed to her why would you require people to do things to win because it's a celebration for people who subscribe to me because I appreciate you it's like subscriber appreciation uh, y'all are my YouTube friends and let's celebrate friendship okay please be publicly subscribed please be at least 18 years of age um, and be nice in the comments which everybody is I, I don't have any problem with like I get the weird rando spammers that I go in and you know try to delete and report and all that that everybody gets but I don't I haven't seen any mean people and that's awesome because this community is actually full of pretty awesome people and it's been a joy to interact with everyone all right first giveaway for this one is a Karen one pound that is a pound of yarn this is a pretty spring green sort of color it's called limeade yes this originally did come from Ollie's you'll see my Ollie stickers I'm gonna take off price stickers why bother y'all know what stuff costs y'all seen me in my hauls getting stuff okay also with this you get a contrasting hanky stitch marker that is right that is so pretty that orange I may have to order some. Oh, by the way, if you order these from Lisa, she has like a, a couple of several hundred different colors of this like silk thread and she will make them to order any color comment. You can like pair up colors within one, make it like a swirl looking thing, like a hank that's been hand dyed. Yes, I'm not even kidding. That's beautiful. I love that color orange. Um, but yeah, care on one powder. We all know what they are. That one for the giveaway prize. I will be using the random comment picker, by the way, and I'll tell you about the dates here in a second. But uh, so to enter to win this, 
you would have to use the word pound in your comment. I would like just one comment per person. You can work all the words into your comment that you want. That's fine because you can enter all of them. You can enter one. If you're if you're not at all interested in carrying one pound, skip this one and, you know, enter for the next one. It's OK. Or you can enter all of them. I'm totally cool with that. OK, I'm going to set this back here where I had it because actually, no, I brought a Dollar Tree bag out here to put my giveaway stuff in and kind of keep it contained. Okay. Let's try, oh, good gravy. I'm so disorganized sometimes. I'm gonna put it on my little table that I have over here so that it, maybe it'll all stay put. The next one that I have here, two skeins of Premier Just Cotton, okay. Um, this one is the color bright green and it's actually a very light color. It says bright green and when you think bright green you're thinking like neon type stuff but this one is not. This is more like a very very light mint green. That is looking pretty true to color. It's not very dark at all and this color here is turquoise. That's looking pretty true on my camera. It is a very pretty bright blue. I figured those two would be kind of cool together and a hanky stitch marker to go along with it. Look at that. It actually kind of goes with those, right? Uh, each one of these is 60 grams. That's 96 meters each. They're 85 cotton, 15 polyester. Uh, they are a four weight cotton. This is not your like a, a good garment cotton, I don't think. Although you could, because it does get really soft. But I use these more for kitchen projects, bathroom projects, and that sort of a thing. But you could totally do a garment out of this or maybe some really cool crochet jewelry. Hmm. Because it's a four, it's a decent four, but you know, a cool bracelet with that would be neat, especially with those two together. I just thought they looked really cool. This one would be the word cotton, C-O-T-T-O-N. I'll show you the list here at the end. Don't panic. Okay. Next, but wait, there's more. I have got two skeins of Bernay or Bernat. How, what is the real pronunciation? Is it Bernay or is it Bernat? Whatever. This one is Softy Baby. Okay. A little picture of a kid with the tongue sticking out there. The colors is, is pale blue for both of them. They match, of course. And these are a light three weight. Now these to me seem a little bigger than a three way but if you give it a little tug it gets it gets a lot thinner it is quite soft it is 100 percent acrylic uh each one is 140 grams that's 331 meters that's a good amount of yardage and or meterage to do something with baby pro baby projects or otherwise it's just a, it's a really pretty pale blue and with it you will get a hanky stitch marker that is a little bit more of a cornflower blue see that for this one, the color, the word is baby, B-A-B-Y, baby. Okay, that is going in the little bag. Okay, what have I forgotten? Oh, oh, a bag of its own. Uh, I meant to have a separate garden giveaway this week and it just didn't happen. Things just got crazy. So I will have a bag of garden. Now the word for this will be garden within this video. Let me show you what's in there. 40 flower bulbs, which include uh, allium, yeah, I don't know those words, gladiola blue, I think that's gladiolus, liatris alba, and yeah, all of these that you see pictures of, okay? All of those, you get that. Plus, wait, there's more. I love these cases. I think with this, even with a garden theme, you could put packs of seeds in here to keep everything contained, you know, small things, maybe put your tags in there. It's a pencil case. It's got hooks on it for a binder, but you know, think outside the box. I use them for everything. I have a stack of them that I give to people. It's like, oh wait, you need something to hold something in? Here you go. Okay. Also, this adorable little set on the front, it's a bee. And yes, it's still in plastic. That's why you got the glare. A bee with sort of the honeycomb thing. But on the inside, it's a little stationary set. How cute is that? It comes with its own pen. No word on the quality of the pen. I don't know. You know how that goes. Pens are hit or miss. But 
This is super cute. Yes, it's still the plastic. Everything is still there. Of course, it's brand new, but that. And finally, last but not least, this is a two book set. Um, Growing Plants and Flowers, the first time bundle. And the other side, the other book is Growing Veggies or Growing Vegetables, you know, not veggies. But all of this goes in there and there will probably be extras. Actually, there'll probably be extras with everything because I can't just like give one thing, you know, I usually throw in a little something extra with everything. So there's that. Just know that you may end up with more than what's in that bag. I'm going to hang that back where I had it. Oh, one more thing. And that one again, the word will be garden for the little garden one. Okay. And finally, last but not least, in this uh, plethora of giveaways here, is going to be a diamond painting. This one is called Soulmates. This is by Diamond Art Club. I purchased this myself, um, my own cashy money. You know how that goes. That is the picture. I know you can't really see it because I've never actually unboxed it. But look at the beautiful colors. It's purple and blue. It says diamond shape round, round diamonds. I'm not sure if that's the easy one or the hard one. But I guess, you know, find out. No experience required. It comes with everything you need to do it. Um, kit contains premium velvet tarpaulin canvas, color-coded resin diamonds, magic diamond applicator, wax pad, and craft tray. All your goodies are in here. To win this, the word will be, of course, diamond. Okay? Like I said, you can work all of those words into your comment if you like. Or if, you, if you're only interested in the diamond painting, just put diamond, for instance. All right. This starts today, June 18th. That's when I'm recording this. Hello. Uh, my birthday was on the 15th, by the way. This is a week of giveaways for my birthday. It will end on the 24th which is Friday, the, at some point Friday, okay? The video draw will be Saturday. It, it'll be up on Saturday the 25th. Um, so yeah, I will not contact you and say, you have won, text me to, no. If you see any of that nonsense, it is spam. Report it, make it go away. You know how I do this if you've watched my videos before. I just let it run. If you have done everything you need to do to enter, which means if I see that you're a public subscriber and you have put in whatever keyword, in this one you got a bunch to choose from, but you've put in a keyword that goes with it or if you answered a question correctly that goes with like some of my done trivia, um, I will put good luck. I'll reply to that. That's all I'm doing. Even if you ask me like the best question in the world, I'm not answering it there because all I want to answer on this is good luck. And if I don't heart your comment and put good luck on it, there's something you've missed, okay? So do check on those for any of my giveaways, okay? Be sure and look for that. Here are the words. I know my even my handwriting, my printing is awful. Pound for the pound of love. Baby for the baby blue yarn. Garden for the garden stuff. Cotton for the skeins of cotton. Diamond for the diamond painting. You've got stuff to do. Think about what you would like to have or what you would not like to have. If that baby blue yarn is just not up your alley, don't put baby in the comment, all right? Let's want to give it to somebody. I mean, that's, you do you. <laughs> you do whatever you would like with the giveaways. And don't forget, I will have a giveaway on my community post for some hanky stitch markers. And I don't have any of them personally because I tend to make my own. Uh, Lisa Ladybird Loves also does scrunchies. She does the, the stitch markers. She does scrunchies like with or without beads. Yeah, you should check her stuff out. She really has some really cool stuff that she will make and send to you. So uh, awesome, awesome things. I really appreciate each and every one of you for taking part in my birthday week of craziness and for entering my giveaways and participating in my live. That was so much fun. And uh, just for being an awesome group of folks. Tell a friend, bring them along. Let's grow the community, y'all. Thank you for coming by. I will see you very, very soon. And don't forget to comment to enter. <laughs> Bye, y'all.